Well, hi, everyone. Welcome in. You are watching Weather Underground. I'm Mike Bettis. And I'm Alex Wilson. We have a lot headed your way, including our decade special. Oh, my uh, gosh. We're at the end of a decade. It's hard to believe that 10 years went just like that. It did. It, it was because you were having so much fun. But doesn't it feel like tw like 2000 just happened? Yes. Yes. And we were so excited from 99 to 2000. And now... I know. Well, 2020, I feel like. I, I mean, I know we were excited about 2010, but I feel like 2020 has got like a... A little more. It's got some more vibe got a to little it. More like some mojo or what? Yeah, totally. I, I'm excited for it. So we're counting you down. Uh, stay with us here on the show. Those uh, those are coming up, and we've got them. By the way, you are 31 degrees colder. So we're talking about huge changes in just a matter of hours. 24 hour difference. Uh, 32 degrees colder in Jackson, Mississippi. 29 degrees colder in Lake Charles. 25 degrees colder currently than it was this time yesterday in Atlanta, Georgia. So there are a lot. Of of places that uh, it's a whole different set of days between Monday and Tuesday. Yesterday it was really mild, balmy, well into the 70s for some, and uh, today not the same. In fact, we've got temperatures in the 40s, even 30s coming our way overnight. Take a look as we head into the morning hours. Atlanta dropping to the freezing mark below that for Jackson and Little Rock. 41 in New Orleans, Louisiana. 27 in Middle Tennessee. Now we get you up into Canada, of course, where our cold air is coming from and temperatures there. Plenty of cold. How about Rankin Inlet? 26 degrees below zero. Winnipeg, 11 degrees below zero. Tomorrow, we're going to see some of that colder air settle into parts of the Midwest. So you can see more of that uh, bright fuchsia color showing up. How about Thursday morning temperatures in the single digits and teens? The Northeast gets in on some of that by Thursday. Highs won't get to freezing in a place like Pittsburgh or New York City. We're back after this. About the above ground pools, and yeah. this is, you, we've seen like the, right. the big buildings going back and forth. It gives too. a different perspective that you don't always get, right? A lot of buildings collapse there, that there end up being fatalities with that uh, earthquake, but um, a very, very unique view that we don't often get. Right, welcome back into Weather Underground. One week left until Christmas Eve. Can you believe it? <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully. I can. It's, hope, it's I, I guess I guess right it's, the corner. we're ready, but uh, Mother Nature hasn't cooperated for the last minute shoppers. So if you held really off till the last minute, you have been uh, paying the price. You might have yeah. been paying extra for the online shipping. You may have the, been. The sped up no it, kidding. Uh, uh, severe weather. We've had winter weather. The calendar says four. You have to know because so many times those warnings come in quick and you've got to make that decision. So as we were saying yesterday, the basement is best. Yeah, it really is. And if you don't have a basement on the first floor, the ground level, the safest room is going to be an interior room that has a lot of walls between mm -hmm. the tornado and you and doesn't have any windows. Yeah, so under the stairs, a hallway closet, even a hallway might uh, be shelters. Remember back in elementary school when you went into uh, the interior hallway? Mm -hmm. So find the lowest floor in your home, uh, something without windows, bathrooms, closets, again, under stairwells. Those make great places. And what's above you? Baby grand piano? Mm -hmm. um, hopefully spot. not. Yeah. A, a spot where you don't have a lot of heavy objects above you either is important. Yeah, and uh, crouch as low as possible, face down, hands over your head. Got to protect your head. Something yeah. really important Ooh. to remember. All right, we'll talk more about severe weather still tonight on the show, but also winter weather with Winter Storm Finley. Our Chris Bruin is live tonight in Albany, New York. Really beautiful. Chris, I love the Christmas lights, but something else I love that's like so Christmassy and quintessential beautiful town is that uh, light pole you just showed us, like the old fashioned street light with the garland. Yeah. Love this this area you found. You are selling it for Albany, and I, I assume at this point you're like our Albany bureau anyway. Chris Bruin, thank you so much. We're going to get back to Chris. I think so. <laughs> he is. He's been there a lot this month for the snow. In New York City, it's 36 degrees with light rain. So we go from a uh, very quaint uh, picture Albany to about as miserable as it gets. We've got an airport ground stop in effect until 630 local time. Uh, snow into interior parts of the northeast. As you look at the 95 quarter, that's where we've got that cold rain. Parts of Rhode Island and Connecticut, upstate New York, even North Jersey. That's where we've got some of that freezing rain. Purple would be a little bit of that sleet, but got to watch for slick conditions here across, especially sections of southern Connecticut and a lot of the state of Rhode Island. Uh, we begin to see 
see the rain as we get a little closer to the coast there in Massachusetts, Worcester, some light snow. Here's the future forecast for Finley. We're in the last stages, the finale of Finley, if you will. And as we get into the late evening, it's really sections of New England that continue to see the snow uh, beginning to wind down, though, as we head into the mid morning hours of your Wednesday, Mike. You're all right. So where we were yesterday compared to where we are now, how about 30 degrees or more colder than this time yesterday in Jackson, Mississippi, Lake Charles, Louisiana and New Orleans, Louisiana. It is 24 degrees colder than it was this time yesterday in Atlanta. So behind that front after the storms, things are much different. And as we move into the morning hours, plenty of spots dipping into the 30s, even 20s out there. Nashville and Little Rock will be starting the day in the upper 20s. That cold air uh, that's uh, centered over portions of Canada, even making its way into the Midwest and Northeast as we head into the middle and end part of the week. So uh, tomorrow, Thursday morning, you can see that cold air settling in. Syracuse, a low of nine Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon, temperatures only rising to around 13 in Burlington, 22 in Buffalo, 26 in New York City. By Friday morning, more of those teens and single digits focused especially into interior parts of the Northeast and New England. On Friday, highs Again, sub freezing in Boston, in Burlington and in Buffalo, just at the freezing mark for the Big Apple. Here's feels like temperatures. So when you factor in the temperature and the wind, it will feel like single digits above and below zero. Sub zero feels like temperatures. What we're expecting on Thursday morning in a place like Buffalo, it'll feel like nine to start the day in Pittsburgh, eight in Chicago and Minneapolis. We get you into the afternoon and you can see not much in the way of relief. Buffalo feels like temperatures will be staying in the teens below zero up there in Burlington. So the mountains of New York State and New England, that's where we're going to have some brutal feels like temperatures. Things begin to warm up, though, as we head into the weekend. And of course, next week we're talking about milder temperatures ahead. Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, uh, Wednesday, zero. That's your high. Wednesday night, seven degrees below zero. <sighs> Thursday, that 19 is going to feel downright nice, right? Well, we are just getting started on the show. Coming up, we're going to take you. To well, the snow is falling and the Christmas lights are looking picture perfect. They're so magnificent. Think. There's something about snow on Christmas lights that makes them a little bit better than yes. Christmas lights on just like grass. I right? <laughs> absolutely. It, it adds to the magic. I'm like the star-eyed and hard-eyed emoji, Chris. We're all pretty jealous of your assignment. You know, a lot of times standing out in the cold in the snow <laughs> isn't that fun. But when you're leading up to Christmas, oh, there's something special. Can you imagine the soulful sounds of Alex singing Christmas tunes while you're waiting for a delay. Two hours. That would bring me more for listening to you sing, Alex. Forced listen to Delayed and listening to you sing. A red nose reindeer. Like I'll do it like a jazz singer, like a, what are those things called? Cabaret. Had a very <laughs> shiny nose. It sounds more like wedding singer. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not sure. You just don't know greatness. That's all. You just <laughs> don't. Mark appreciates it. Mark's over there really enjoying my concert. I'm I'm reveling oh, a, in it. Thank a, you, Mark.